Well, that didn't take long. Tears of the Kingdom is being ripped off. I kid you not. The game hasn't technically even released yet, and already we're seeing just blatant ripoffs that are highly likely going to get Nintendo's lawyers involved out of Japan, of all things. I Look, guys, this happens. Breath of the Wild had a bunch of quote-unquote rip-offs as well. Now, there is a big difference between ripping a game off and being inspired by a game. Uh, inspiration is fine. Having similar mechanics is fine. But we're going to show you something in a moment that very clearly isn't just trying to be similar very clearly is just a blatant ripoff and you can play it right now it's kind of silly but before we get into it i want to remind you that tears of the kingdom is coming out next week isn't that awesome so exciting on may 12th well we also have a giveaway that ends on may 12th we're giving away a tears of the kingdom nintendo switch oled edition we're also giving away a pin from pax east Oh, and don't forget a collector's edition of the game as well. To enter, just head down to the pig comment or in the description and click on the link. Also, guys, we're on a road to 133,000 subscribers. I it, Look, it's 133 years of Nintendo we're trying to match. Our next goal after that is going to be a big one. We're going to go all the way to 200K. But you know what? For right now, drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and why not hit the bell icon so you get notified of all of our videos and live streams. All right, guys, we got to get into this, and I'm going to be honest. I originally found this on the Tears of the Kingdom uh, Nintendo Switch Reddit uh, thread. Like, look, you guys might not want to visit the Tears of the Kingdom Reddit because, honestly, there's a lot of spoilers over there. But this was, I, I, I look, to say that I can't believe this exists would be an overstatement. So let's just play for you a game available right now on Android and Apple devices it's called Kung Fu Saga. Just watch this nice little 40 second clip. Today, Kung Fu Saga changes. Let's change this brand new aerial dungeon. I'm going to try out the new weapon synthesis feature. <laughs> it feels pretty cool. Let's see what effect it has. Whoa, awesome! Watch me jump! Take that! <laughs> this new dungeon is too rewarding! <laughs> yeah, come on now. It's blatantly ripping off Recall and Fuse. Now, Technically, I could see where you would argue the fusibility in this game a little bit different because you could fuse multiple things together to create different things. It's not just like two items, it's three. Okay, I get it. Maybe maybe you want to argue, even though it's clearly ripping off fuse, uh, that, okay, fine. But the recall, I mean, come on. Right at the very beginning, he uses what literally looks exactly like Recall from Tears of the Kingdom. It, I mean, down to the visual presentation. And then obviously, hey, look, we're in the sky. We have sky islands. Uh, I'm not even going to say anything about the glider that, you know, like the, the, the paraglider replacement he flies in on. We've seen this for a while. Heck, I'm not even going to say anything about the fact one of his weapons is a stick. I just find this to be absolutely hilarious. And then you get to the actual sky island, and the sky islands are even in a very similar presentation style as tears of the kingdom but yeah, i don't know if you can go over the graphics exactly it's not one-to-one -one, and there are some differences with the trees and, and uh, it's just what are they doing what world are we living in i mean this isn't a surprise i want to be clear it is not a shocker to see tears of the kingdom ripped off and this won't be the last time yeah nintendo will probably go after this company they went after several that were ripping off breath of the wild back in the day it's one thing to be inspired by. If you want a good example of taking some inspiration, just look at like Genshin Impact. Genshin Impact plays entirely different than Zelda. It's a completely different type of game. However, from a visual perspective, it does, you know, in terms of building out the world, take some visual cues from Breath of the Wild. It clearly had some inspiration on how to build its world from that game. 
That's how you sort of do it right. You get inspired by, but you don't directly copy. And unfortunately for this game, they definitely went with a directly copy route. Now, this isn't the entire game, of course. This is a very specific area in this game. So whether or not Nintendo can get the whole game taken out, I don't know. But they could probably do something about this additional content they've decided to add. And this game already is sort of a mess. It used to be called something entirely different. It had a different name. It was called the Avatar Saga. And what's interesting about it being called the Avatar Saga is obviously it was drawing relations to Avatar, the anime. And here's the thing. It's clearly not an official Avatar game. So they already got in trouble for that and had to recently rename itself to Kung Fu Saga. So... <laughs> They, the game, the games like this, these little mobile games, they love to rip off these brilliant ideas, make all the relations they can to get attention. And the sad thing is, of course, this game has really good ratings on the various shops. Like on the Google Play shop, you'll see that it has, what, a four and a half star rating out of 72,400 reviews. Now, I don't know how many of those are legitimate or just bots, but that's one thing. And then you go to the Apple Store, uh, or somehow it's allowed to exist. It has even more ratings at 8.1 thousand uh, with a 4.7 rating. So maybe, assuming these aren't all bot reviews, maybe people actually legitimately like playing this game. And you know what? If that's the case, cool. I just, I don't understand why company, I mean, I, look, let me take that back. I understand why companies do this and rip off. Look, you saw this recent thing in a Zelda thing. Hey, you can now do it here for free. Why pay $70? You can play our app for free and get that content for free, even though like, you got to advance pretty far in the game to get to the Sky Island level they did, or Dungeon, or whatever they're calling it. Guys, I don't even know what to think at this point when it comes to this stuff, because it's only going to get worse. We're going to see more and more blatant ripoffs, and Nintendo's lawyers are going to be pretty much on top of it. The moment they're aware of it, they typically get this stuff shut down. I don't think they're going to be able to get this entire game shut down. Clearly, uh, you know, Avatar tried to do that, and they just rebranded. So I think they might just remove that content eventually. But I don't know. You guys got to let me know what you think about this down in the comments below, because... Look, it's not that I'm surprised we have a blatant ripoff. It's that it's already happened before the game came out. Like that, to me, is the most shocking part is <laughs> the game is not even out yet. Also, some people might point out, man, they were able to pull this off in a really short time. You know, why did it take so long for Nintendo to develop these things? I, guys, this is like a preset animation it doesn't work in the entire game it works only in this one little specific area making it work game wide would take much more work than this little mobile game put in so anyways guys you guys are awesome and i'll catch you in the next video